Dave here from Schools Out Fishing with another Great Lakes Trout and Salmon Fishing Tip. Today we're running slider rigs on downriggers for trout and salmon. The rainbow trout and the coho salmon seem to be about midway through the water column, you know, maybe about 30 to 40 feet down. So we're gonna hook up some sliders. What I have here is a small spoon, very slender profile, very thin. This is a stinger spoon, then a barrel swivel with 20 pound monofilament, which is what I always use then another barrel swivel. I'm going to attach that to the line right off the tip of the rod, close the snap, and then in goes the bait. Now that bait will slide down the line, and it's not going to go all the way down to the downrigger ball, because as this line is going through the water, that water is dragging against it, it creates a bow in the line. So it won't be able to slide past that furthest part of that bow, It'll stop maybe halfway down or a little bit further than halfway down. Uh, we have this downrigger set at about 50 feet, so my guess is it'll be sitting right around 30 feet. It's not precise, but it is repeatable. As long as we can do the same thing again after catching a fish, chances are better that we'll be able to hook up with more. One issue with running sliders is that because it's not attached to anything, there's a lot of slack in the line after a bite. So you have to reel really fast, to get tension on that fish to ensure a good hookup. That slider will slide all the way down to that bottom bait and that's when it'll first feel that tension. As long as you take that out very fast, you should be able to land the majority of the fish that you have on. 